This is Figuring It Out Together with me, Dr. Michael Masius. Uh, happy Wednesday morning. Um, it's at least Wednesday here in Milwaukee. Um, it may be a different day for you, uh, given when you're watching this. Um, I want to talk today about a burning topic, um, a topic that's uh, quite important. It's on lots of parents' minds right now. It's on my mind. It's not an easy topic to kind of figure out, um, and that is how do we manage our kids' social calendar? Um, our kids want to socialize. We want them to want to socialize. Obviously, socialization is um, a necessary ingredient in our kids' development, um, their cognitive development, emotional development. And right now, you know, many of us want our kids to socialize safely. So how do we do that? Um, and I just read an article um, it was a couple weeks ago, actually, from the New York Times in their Sunday at home section, which I, I, you know, I'm not, um, uh, I, I don't have any stock in the New York Times, but I do think um, the at home section each Sunday is a good um, 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 source of information for us parents and professionals, uh, mental health professionals. The article talked about how kids need to socialize, experts weighed in, um, but they need to socialize safely. So how do we do that? I'm going to give you three ideas. One is encourage them to socialize outside. Um, you know, and it's easy to say it's getting difficult to do. Again, not to sound too Game of Thrones-esque, but winter is coming. And, uh, you know, I do a lot of home visits with little kids. That's how I'm doing therapy these days. And um, it's been really interesting going out to their homes and working with them. Uh, in the privacy of their backyards, um, but it's getting cold uh, for me and uh, for them, maybe more for me than for them, but it's definitely getting cold. So that's gonna change soon. In the meantime though, encourage your kids to socialize outside, encourage your kids to socialize with one, maybe two at the most other kids, kids they like to play with. Um, and then when it gets too cold, um, uh, believe it or not, I would encourage you to allow them to socialize inside. I don't want to sound judgmental or preachy, but when it comes to socializing inside, you want to pick a friend um, with parents who share your values. Um, in other words, you want to bring somebody in who is operating in a way that feels comfortable for you so that when your friend has a play date, you aren't worrying about it and interfering and wrecking it. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you want to think about who among your kids, friends, parents operate like you do. Again, no judgment here and let that person come over. Um, and you can let your child, if you feel comfortable, go over there too. So there's reciprocity. So socializing inside is probably a necessary, I don't want to say evil, but a necessary step but pick someone who you feel is a safe person for your for your child and for your family. And then three, um, wear masks, um, especially on the inside. But I would argue even if they're playing outside, have them wear masks on the outside. Um, a couple of weeks ago while driving home from a school, from a home visit rather, um, I noticed there were a bunch of kids playing outside on the playground and it was wonderful to see the kids were running around laughing. It felt really like the old days. It felt normal. It felt healthy. However, none of those kids, for whatever reason, were wearing masks. And, uh, you know, that just really kind of worried me from a safety perspective and from a psychological perspective. Our kids are used to wearing masks. Kids I speak to, for the most part, don't mind. They've accommodated to it. They've adjusted to it. They've habituated to it. So encourage them to wear masks even outside when they're playing with their friends. It's really important that they socialize. Please make sure that they're socializing safely. Thank you.